Today we will see a quantitative aptitude question of uh, UPSC and many other government exams. The question is uh, about the combinations. There are six persons arranged in a row. Another person has to shake hands with three of them at a time so that he should not shake hands with two consecutive persons. So how many ways he can shake hands and the answer is four. So the question is uh, very difficult. I mean language is very difficult. Question is simple. So understand the question six persons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six persons. Now there is another person is coming actually. So that person is not out of six, he is the seventh person. Now he has to shake hands such that every time he is shaking hands with three people and no two people are in continuation. So that means he can shake hands here, he can shake hand here and he can shake hand here. This is one way. So we will now see the answer. Now before we see the answer, I will tell you one more thing that if you see the answer options, options are A is 3, B is 4, C is 5 and D is 6. That means the combination possible are small so you can do it mentally also. So rather than wasting time on formula and all. So we will first see the mental calculation method 1, 6 pupil, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The person can shake hands with minimum 3 every time and leaving out gap of 1 person minimum in between is this way 1 3 5 1 4 6 that means 1 3 5 so this is first arrangement and then you can see other three arrangements so in this manner he can shake hands with four people so we'll quickly see the graphical uh, this the explanation six people in a row another person seventh person has to shake with three of them such that that is not shaking hands with two consecutive people so first arrangement one three five second arrangement third arrangement fourth arrangement so this is how these arrangements are one two three four one two three four these are the people he is shaking hands with in green green circle and people who are left out are yellow so here you see every alternate he is leaving one person but here he has left two people this is allowed because the question says no two consecutive people so that means there can be more than two also so this this is very very important understanding this is very very important so these are the four ways possible and that is your answer now we'll see through a formula now in method 2 we'll adopt the formula of combination that is n c r now the problem out here is that uh, he is shaking hands with three people he has to shake hands with minimum three people choose three people so r becomes three but the n value of n is actually there's a confusion because out of six there's a gap of one every time so what will be the value of n that is actually very tricky and we have to find out we will understand it like this value of n will not be 3 why because uh, you can state when you know work out that 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 but that will not be correct so we will see 1 then he has to leave out another person 3 then he has to leave out another person then 5 now after 5 we will not omit this 6 because in the previous slide I have shown you that uh, it is quite possible that he can leave out two person also in between. So value of C is uh, value of N is 4. This is our value of N. I will erase the markings. So the formula becomes 4C3 is equal to factorial arrangements. So factorial 4 divided by factorial 3 and divide again divided by factorial n minus r that is 4 minus 3 so if you solve this this becomes 4 now factorials you know how to solve factorial 3 means 3 into 2 into 1 so this is how we solve the when we solve this factorial we get 4 so here value of n is very very tricky to understand 
so like i told you in the beginning that uh, since the question is small so you can do it mentally so try to do it mentally and if not then try to work it out through formula so that's all thank you very much and thank you for watching